What's, What's going, going on, on Taurus family? family? It's your girl, Sierra. And your boy, Steph. Back at you again. With another video. Today, we are answering your questions about a home birth. Well, mostly her. I'm just here for entertainment. <laughs> but first... A little ASMR. Yeah. 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 Okay, y'all. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, make sure you follow us on Instagram. That's where I asked the, um, I put the little poll for the Q&A. Yeah, follow me. Don't forget to follow me, guys. Appreciate <laughs> it. So I rounded up all the questions to like the most commonly asked questions. And we're just going to start from the top and go from there. So the first question was, how did we deliver the placenta and cut the cord? Your placenta delivers itself mm -hmm. okay so pretty much i just had some cramps and when i felt the need to like push it out i kind of just pushed and and lightly pulled on the cord a little bit to like get it out of me and yeah, you don't want to tug and pull it it's very dangerous you they did can, that to her one yeah. time and she almost bled out was in the astral afterlife we're not gonna talk about it okay <laughs> but you don't pull it out yeah. It comes out on its own. Let it detach on its own because otherwise you could give yourself a hemorrhage and you do not want to do that. Mm -hmm. Now. How long should it take? The, the, it? I was just going to say the rule of thumb is your placenta should deliver itself within an hour after you had the baby. Literally five minutes after I had the baby, I felt I felt it detach. And like you can feel it. Like I felt it detach. I had the cramps and it was kind of just sitting right there. But when I was in the water... I wasn't in a position, like, if you've seen, I kind of, like, had my legs straight out. I was not in a position to push it out. So when I got on the bed, I kind of just pushed it out. So it was just sitting there the whole yeah, time. So Another question was, like, how did we know what to do with the placenta and how to cut the cord? This is our fourth kid. So we've seen it done three other times before. Stefan's cut the cord three other times before, like... Yeah, that too. We kind of just knew, you know, like from experience. So I didn't cut it until she birthed the placenta out. Yeah. And we got clamps. We clamped it as close to, like, his belly button as possible. And then we just cut on the opposite side of it. So make sure you got some sharp, good scissors and make sure it's sanitized. Next question. Did we have a doula or a midwife come at any time? No. I was a doula and I was a midwife. We didn't have any of those come out, but Stefan was a little bit paranoid. No, it wasn't. Stefan was paranoid and he called the ambulance to come and check me out, which I would have preferred he didn't, but he did. So That's I what let you pay for. So I, I let care. him do what he needed to do for his peace of mind. Um, but I will forever hold that against him. I don't care. I know you don't. <laughs> they came out, they checked my vitals, and then they asked me if I wanted to go to the hospital, and I said no, and they left. So they're probably there for like five minutes, maybe. Probably. And they did not check out the baby. They literally just checked my vitals, and they left. Next question, was I worried about tearing, and what was I going to do if I needed stitches? So when I was pushing out the baby, I said stop, and then I started panting. I was like coaching myself. So I read a book on hypnobirthing. I will share that one later because that was another question. But um, they said when you pant, you can't force the baby out. And so the key to not tearing is to kind of just embrace the ring of fire and let, like, your perineum stretch. Let it burn, baby. But I will say, in the water, I did not feel the ring of fire at all. Well, they understand it's a lot of first-time moms, too. So what is a ring of fire? That's when the baby's head is crowning. And what is crowning? Coming out of your vagina. Okay. And it feels like a burning sensation, like you're on fire. Okay. And I had that with Harmony and with Haven, but in the water, I did not feel it at all. You did it? No, I didn't feel anything but pressure. Mm. The water is the way to go for sure. So, to Stefan. Was it nasty? I didn't look. I can't even see. All I saw was when the baby came out and he was just in the water like this. <laughs> That's why I said, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so was it nasty seeing that? I'd rather see that than what I saw with Hazel any day. <clears throat> any day. Okay. Another question. How did we empty the pool? We just siphoned it. That's it. 
So the same hose that we used to fill it, we just detached it from the shower head and Stefan sucked all the nasty water through. So if you don't know how to <laughs> siphon, you just leave one end of the tube in the water already and the other end you just give a good suck and then let it lay down and the water will come out. That's how we did it. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how we did it. Next question. How do you get a birth certificate and social security card since he was born at home? All you have We're to do- We're not gonna get one. My dog's gonna be uh, uh, unknown. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be a spy in the sky. The government don't need to know about my son. All right, he's not gonna get no social security. They're not about to stamp him like a prison number, okay? He's not getting one. Next question. For the birth certificate, you go to the health department for a social security card. You go to social security administration and you fill out the applications. Next question. What happened after it was all said and done? Did we go to the hospital? Did we get checked? All that type of stuff. So I did not go to the hospital. I still haven't been seen, truthfully. Um, nope. I don't see the point, honestly. I made an appointment for the baby right when I had him. I called, made an appointment, got him in as soon as he could be seen. He got checked out at his pediatrician. He's good. We have his hearing screening, his vision screening, and his newborn screening all scheduled, and those are all going to be done. Now, granted, if we would have had him in a hospital, it would already be done, but mm -hmm. I chose this way. So it's getting done just, you know, when the appointments are available. Next question, how did you control the contractions? So control would not be the word, Handle. but like manage, get through yes. would probably be a better. Um, and then this is going to like go on to the next question, which is what book did you read to prepare for the birth? This one right here. Um, now this book helped me so like so much with this birth because... Had it not been for this book, I feel like I would not have been able to control my contractions whatsoever. It taught me breathing techniques. It taught me like so many different tools pretty much to be able to manage the contractions and like kind of ride them instead of like letting them work you up and get nervous because once and the camera died. So what I was saying is that you don't want adrenaline, you want oxytocin, which is the happy hormone and just to keep breathing. So this book, if you want to have a home birth, definitely read this book, even not even a home birth, just birthing in general okay it's a great tool to have to keep you calm and sane but that was my last question anyway but i hope that this was informative and answered all your questions if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will answer them to the best of my ability but appreciate you guys for being a part of the t fam if you're new here hit that subscribe button and hit, hit that, that like button right now if you like the video of course and leave a comment down below if you made it to the end yeah and you know it's always T fam or no fam. Peace out to our family.